We've all been there. Deadline is approaching and we've got nothing. Everything you hear sounds stale and overused and the pressure is on to drop our best banger yet. A lot of us have built our lifestyle and financials around our ability to show up to a blank project and create something out of nothing. On my channel, I try to be as honest and genuine as possible, which means I have to share this with you. Recently, I've been facing some major creative blocks. Level with me for a second. Being an artist is a lot of work. Like sometimes the sheer amount of work it takes to start up an artist career is so overwhelming that a lot of us may not even begin. Add in the fact that I don't know what I'm doing over here. Shocker, right? To be clear, I don't think anyone knows what they're doing, which is what makes this career path so risky and so rewarding. I've been feeling the pressure a lot recently, especially because the need to get financially stable from my creative work is looming over my shoulder. The desire to live outside of the nine to five is so heavy on my mind every single day. So much in fact that I created a plan. You can see that video here, even though I have these plans, I'm stuck in some areas of my business and it blows. I want to write something meaningful every single time, but today I got nothing. And I'm hoping that writing a video about creative block will actually help me to create something. Honestly, anything at this point would do. But I understand why you're watching because when I'm struggling in my creative process, I lean on the creatives around me to lead me out of the the fog. Writer's block or beat block is the inability to move forwards or backwards in a creative endeavor. The roots of this block surprisingly do not come from a lack of motivation. We artists are usually highly motivated individuals with stories to tell. We are just stuck and this stuckness is a result of something deeper. My guess is that writer's block or beat block comes from a lack of order in our consciousness. This might sound a little deep, but lacking order in our consciousness also means that we lack clarity in our subconsciousness. So I'm going to help you gain some clarity in your subconsciousness. First, let's try looking at your beat making practice like a habit, since it's something we want to replicate the results of every day. And honestly, whether the beats are good or bad, they need to be released so you can collect feedback and grow. This means that putting together anything for your daily beat drop can be life-changing, even if it's trash. So what do you do if you can't think of anything to make. If you read the book, The Habit of Change, you'll learn that personal identity is heavily wrapped in habit formation. Usually as the pressure to perform increases, our ego gets in the way with anxious delusions. Identity is heavily wrapped up in how we perform the daily habits of our lives. Some philosophers believe that if we held a person's life in our hands, it would be measured in the habits they performed daily. Our habits make us who we are. This is where clarity in your subconscious is extremely important. For example, let's say you want to start a workout routine. You come to your workouts every day saying, I want to get jacked. What you're actually doing is subconsciously saying that you are not jacked. Humans require order in our consciousness. So if you're telling yourself that you're not jacked, the natural order is you do what people who are not jacked do, and that is not go to the gym. Or if you're trying to quit smoking, and someone offers you a cigarette. You may say, I'm trying to quit smoking, but you're subconsciously reinforcing the reality that your identity is in being a smoker who is trying to quit. So you do what smokers do and you smoke. An easy way to fix this is instead saying, I am not a smoker, which reinforces the desired identity. Can you tell that I'm trying to quit smoking? <laughs> I put a lot of thought into this. In the same way, if you come to your beat making practice like this, I want to become a millionaire music producer. You're technically saying to yourself, I'm not a music producer. I'm a bum ass, broke ass, deadbeat ass, motherfucker ass. And then it makes it harder and harder to sit down with a blank project. 
music. How would someone who's not a music producer come up with banger ass ideas? The words we use to describe our identity is important. At the end of the day, the only thing standing between you and your next top performing track is you. Saying this sounds easier than it actually is because it's such a subtle mental shift. From my personal experience though, subtle changes built up over time are the ones that have the biggest impact on where we end up in life. The reality is, our lives as humans constantly swing between clarity and cloudedness. But where do we begin? How does one clear the haze, so to speak? I reached out to a bunch of my artist friends and pulled the audience and I collected your answers into five simple steps that when done in order, can really help get the creative juices flowing. Here's what you guys told me. Step one, clean your environment. When your environment has order, it's easier for your thoughts to find order as well. I've had a lot going on these past couple weeks, so there is a bunch of stuff to do for my home that I have been absolutely ignoring for a while. The trick with doing mundane tasks is to not go overboard and don't use self-care slash home care as an excuse not to create at all. Step number two is to brain dump. This one is good if you feel like you need to let all of your thoughts and feelings out and it definitely helped me begin writing this script. But a brain dump can only take you so far. The trick is to find a way to amalgamate all of the notes from your brain dump into your next project. Step number three is get organized. A lot of times I get beat block because there is a part of my process that needs refining. When there is no order to the process, engaging with it every day is a nightmare. This is the real fucking tea, motherfuckers. Being a music producer is all about building and sustaining momentum. It is really hard to build momentum if you are feeling all over the place. Think about big businesses that sell millions of products yearly like McDonald's. They have systems in place for every step of their production process and most of them are automated. So I created a Notion organizer for you guys to help you start to build momentum. You can check it out via the link in the description below. I included an income goals tracker and the first five steps I believe every music producer needs to get the ball rolling. To be real, organizing yourself is a huge undertaking. There are lots of things to organize. I just gave you a framework to begin, but my hope is that you modify this template to fit your personal needs. And then send me a link so I can peep your tactics. If your hacks are good, I may even showcase your tips in my next video. Step number four is go on a long drive, but don't listen to the radio. And we can sing a song that we like. What song? How can I be homophobic? My bitch is gay. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying. We have to pick something else. <laughs> and then come back to your project reinvigorated by grounding yourself in the mundanities of life. Essentially telling yourself life will go on whether your project gets done or not. And my own personal tip, find a big open area and shout at the top of your lungs. Ray catharsis. So, the reality is tips and tricks are cool and all, but none of those tips actually brought me closer to writing my book or making more beats. It made me feel better about not writing my book for a little while. And I made this video, which is progress to some degree, but my beats are still unwritten on my desk. My best tip is write about the part of your business that lacks clarity the most. For example, last year I had to stop production on my beats because I realized my producer brand was meaningless and I was chasing down a project that was ultimately never going to fulfill my deepest needs. That's when I started picking up my trusty pen and paper. Through my recent writings, I realized why would I make beats every single day if I have no real goals except doing it to do it? Getting deep about your why is going to make everything you do find order. To wrap this up, I'll leave you with this. I hear a lot of artists and content creators talk about the importance of consistency. Drop a video every week, drop beats every day, but I rarely hear content creators talk about persistency. A lot of my process is showing up with a persistent spirit 
spirit. Persistence to me looks like pivoting when necessary to make it work. Persistence is where true creative genius lies. The ones who lean into the problems we face are the ones who will find the best solutions. Like, even if I don't know what I'm doing, I believe that if I keep working earnestly towards clarity, eventually something will happen. You cannot avoid the muse for long because if you persistently show up to the blank canvas, eventually the muse will come to you. Hey guys, I just finished the video. It's the middle of the night. I wanna point out, I made seven beats for this video. One of those beats I turned into a full song and I brainstormed my next video during the creation of this video. All of that to say, you can do it. You just need to find a reason why, a deeper reason why. Even if this video only gets 10 views, it'll be worth it because I was able to keep moving forward. If you want to support me, you can go to my Patreon via the link in the description, and I'll put your name in the scrolling credits at the end of my next video. Thank you so much for getting this far. I love you for that.